Hello grade sixes and welcome to your first history lesson with me. Today we are doing module six, unit one, the European Renaissance uh, on page 118 and 119. I'm not going to go over unit two because those are just case studies on um, Leonardo da Vinci and Galileo, which you can read and answer yourself. I'm sure by now a lot of you have answered these questions. So if you have personal questions, you are more than welcome to contact me on teams um, or through your parents whatsapp messages to explain anything on these two topics however i'm going to give you a brief overview of the european renaissance in unit one so without wasting time please can you open up to page 118 in your textbooks for our new viewers we are using the study and master social sciences a learner's book grade six um, and yes we are doing term two history unit one the european renaissance now i love the european renaissance i just think the the dressing was beautiful they had the most beautiful clothes um and it's a very interesting uh topic to learn about so without wasting time let's go ahead Okay, so uh, Renaissance means, you know, finding something different or something new and interesting and changing the way, um, uh, changing, changing the way or learning new things about music and art specifically. So there were different types of music that were, that were introduced in this time, different types of art and art techniques and methods that were introduced during this time. And during the, the Renaissance, which took place between the 14th and 16th centuries, and a little bit after that, um, we learn that this was a very important time because it became very important for the change in art and literature and philosophy and scientific ideas. We have paintings such as the Mona Lisa that was painted, um, a very famous painting that is. We uh, know Shakespeare was around during this time um, and his poetry, sonnets, his, all of his literature became a very significant part of the Renaissance era. We also learn about the scientific ideas that came about and how people um, were able to manufacture the first mechanical clock as well as the print press that was uh, created um, we know about the philosophy we learn about the philosophy and um, how people during this time moved away from the view uh, of Christianity um, they they changed their philosophy into thinking that life was not just a pathway um, to go to heaven they 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 figured out other things with their philosophy in which you can do research on but it's just an overview of how the philosophy changed during this Renaissance period. If we look at this slide, we can see that Renaissance started uh, in Italy in the 1300s, okay? And by the 1600s, it had already spread to most of Europe, like France, England, Germany, Netherlands, and Spain. And it became a time where all these areas, all these countries in Europe, um, started learning about humanity and science and learning about the rights and freedom of certain individuals so there was a lot of exploration and discovery and learning new things during this renaissance period now before the renaissance we have an, uh, an era called the middle ages and this was from 500 CE to about 1500 CE. Now we use CE instead of AD because we don't want to link a religious factor into this type of, or this time of, of, of um, this this era rather okay so AD would mean after Christ okay so after uh, after Christ however when we use the word CE instead of AD we uh, move away from the Christianity aspect of, uh, of this or the or the religious aspect of this okay now during the Middle Ages we learned that this was the fall this happened um, just uh, well during this time the fall of the Roman Empire had happened okay so the Romans and the Greeks had made so many improvements to life and they had controlled most of Europe. But when the Middle Ages set in, 
it started the fall of the Roman Empire and during this time it also caused a lot of war and hunger and poverty there were lots of people on the street a lot of people during this time and there was a lot of uh, it was a time for the faith in God during this Middle Ages a lot they were very religious very staunch on Christianity and a lot of a lot of um, friction happened between different countries because the main aim was to spread Christianity all over the uh, all over the world by these people and um, what happened was when the Renaissance then set in after the Middle Ages the Renaissance era in the Renaissance era people had started rejecting the attitudes and ideas of the Middle Ages so they started forgetting what the Romans and the Greeks had done they had started um, moving away from the Christianity aspect that the Middle Ages had been set in okay so that's what we learn um, from the Middle Ages moving into the Renaissance period now if we look at this slide we can see um, we can see a little bit of a map there now Europe has all those different countries that we learned about okay now before the 1400s a lot of people in Europe did not travel to the other countries in Europe if you were in one town you would stay or visit the other towns there wasn't much traveling done there wasn't much discovery done much um, exploration done however when the renaissance era had set in that is when europeans had started traveling and they began to make new discoveries and they had learned a lot from traveling and learned from these experiences now after the renaissance had set in and people had started to travel large amounts of people had then begun um, to learn how to read and write and they had learned about these different places and would come back and tell these uh, tell people the stories so this made um, made the interest in people grow of finding out about these other cultures and other places around the earth not just their nearby towns and people started sharing ideas they would go to different places look at what is happening and bring ideas back home so a lot of ideas and uh, uh, ideas had begun had begun to spread all over okay new technology meant that people could now build ships and they could travel even further than their continent they could travel all over the world because they could go across oceans and sail far away to discover new lands okay and then um, people learned if they go to uh, different countries they could bring back items and swap so like they could learn how to trade and they learned about the significance um, that was attached to trade they could become wealthy and rich they learned about new spices and things that they felt that they needed which they found in other places and countries then decided uh, well countries then realized that they could become very wealthy they could make money they could earn gold and make their countries prosper with trade so they felt that they needed to um, trade all over the world and um, or, or try to trade all over the world and go to different areas around the world in order to trade and make money to make their countries wealthy okay um, a lot of Europeans in this time not all had moved away from Christianity a lot of European leaders like your kings and your queens felt that they needed to spread the religion of Christianity all over the world so lots of your kings and queens had your your knights fighting for them um, you know with their battles and things that would happen so it was a lot of your leaders your your, your religious Christian leaders um, like your kings and your queens like I said that felt that they needed to spread the religion of Christianity so by traveling and by going to different countries they were able to go and inform everyone of this religion and preach it to them so just some interesting facts um, I just I just thought this was interesting and to share with you during the Renaissance the people were very very poor okay and um, 
uh, we call them peasants. So peasants were your very poor people that lived in very poor conditions and they wouldn't have money to buy meat or food. So they would eat scraps or mush and they would make it into a soup and they would eat a very dark, almost black looking bread with it to keep themselves full. Now this was a meal that was given to, uh, that, that they would make because they could afford it and they would eat it all. They would eat it for breakfast, for lunch and for supper. Some of them could only afford two meals a day or one meal a day but this is all they ate every single day whereas your wealthy or your noble and your royal people would feast on meats they love different types of meats they liked rabbit they liked ham mutton turkey venison pheasant which is like your poultry they enjoyed uh, having different types of meats and they also like desserts so during their feasts they would have a course called a fruit course which they would bring out a whole lot of sweet desserts and fruit and they would eat themselves sick so that was just uh, some interesting information for you guys um, and thank you to everyone who watched this and for your information if you are a new uh, listener or viewer we are using the study and master social sciences learner book grade 6 page 118 and 119 I hope this video um, was easy for you to understand I will be sending your parents a link to a movie that I would like you to watch for our new viewers there is a movie uh, you can you can go and search for this uh, grade sixes there's a movie called the prince and the pauper but this movie came out in the year 2000 um, and it's about a, a future king and he makes friends with um, a boy that looks just like him who was a pauper or a peasant on the street um, as they looked very similar however I will share the link with your parents I would like you to watch this movie because you can see the dress and the food and the way of life you can see all the poverty and everything in this Renaissance area it's a very nice movie just to show you um, uh, what things looked like during that time so I will share it for our new viewers again it is called the prince and the pauper and the movie you need to look for is the one that came out in the year 2000 okay until my next video bye guys stay safe